is up you guys, it's your boy Captain Jack. We are out here on the ski, doing an afternoon send. We got Nick Bailey. Let's go! Dude, we've shot some uh, epic videos together in the past and we're gonna do that for you guys today. We're hoping for some cobia. We heard they might be running around, but it's gonna be sketchy because we're just on the jet ski. <laughs> and uh, we don't really have a deck to throw the, the cobia in. We'll hopefully improvise and never landed a cobia on the jet ski. Stay tuned, I'll see you guys in the water. Welcome back underwater everybody. So I'm gonna right, jump right into these voiceovers and uh, I really wanted to kind of go over everything that goes through my mind, my thoughts, my thought process, my techniques, all that good stuff. Um, and especially when I'm doing these deep dives. And when I talk about deep dives, it's ne not necessarily I'm going deep, but we are diving deep structure. And this setup right here is what we use. Um, it is a flasher system. You can see the buoy at the surface and the buoy has everything we need. It has the flashers that roll, spool off of them and they drape down and um, it also holds our chum and in this circumstance I actually have the jet ski attached to a float line attached to the flashers and because we're pretty much with the flashers the entire time and we're keeping an eye on them and they bring in predators, they bring in fish and this is a prime example of how it brings the fish and you see those sharks just going all over the flashers and uh, so we know the sharks are around and that's a good sign because that means the cobia are around and I was hoping that Nick shot a cobia on this dive but he went down and shot a nice yellow jack and at first I didn't know what he shot but as a buddy diver a uh, big rule of thumb is once you see somebody shoot something especially in a sharky area make a drop immediately and you're either going to go down and help them get to the surface or put a backup shot in the bigger fish that they shot or fend off sharks um, but you're doing no help from the surface so whenever you get a chance make sure you make a drop to help out your buddy and you can see how we do it here So this is crazy, you, you don't see a lot of communication and it's because we all know exactly what to do. Uh, and I'm already giving Nick my knife so he doesn't have to kind of search for his uh, since he has is dealing with the fish and I'm giving him that knife so he can brain the fish, bleed it if he wants to, also gut it and it's highly recommended that I gut and bleed and brain your fish, it just ensures the quality of meat. Uh, but yeah, he's taking care of the fish. I have the free hand, so I'm kind of making sure I hold on to a spear, making sure it doesn't sink down to the bottom, and uh, we get this fish in the bag. Good teamwork. First fish in the box for the day. What the fuck? That was wild. Nice job. Yeah, how, dude, I forgot the video. <laughs> oh my god, you suck. <laughs> there we go, Nick Bailey, showing you all how it's done. Solid yellow jack. He wanted sashimi, so he gonna get sashimi. Yo! Sharks didn't really, weren't too fired up, so that was good. We're gonna hit up a new spot, hoping for some cobs. Fingers crossed, but we don't know what we'll find there. It's a very, very deep place, so stay tuned. We'll see if we get into some action. So now the color changed a little bit of the water. Uh, you can see we go into a little bit of deeper area. And same thing, we found the sharks. We were hoping that these ones might have cobia on them, and they actually do. And you can see this little tiny cobia with this bull shark off to my right. Uh, but that is a good sign um, on this spot. We see another legal size cobia, but the shark didn't want to stay around and we decided just to keep bumping and find another spot. So this is Nick's GoPro. He hit up a spot or we hit up a spot um, just a little ways away from this one. Um, and same thing, those AJs came into the flashers. Nick's super patient on this. He's grunting, trying to get them to come in and AJs are usually kind of dumb. He makes a really good shot, and I thought he actually stoned it from watching the video. Uh, but I'm at the surface, I immediately make a drop, and you'll be switching over to my GoPro as you see Nick ascending to the surface in just a second. Uh, he doesn't even need to say anything. Like, right there, I see him coming up. I know, he, I look, he's not struggling, he's not telling me to come down to help him. Uh, so he's going to make it to the surface easily. I'm contemplating shooting this other Amberjack. And it's funny because I got to the surface and Nick told me I should have, but um i'm actually glad i didn't uh and i'll you'll see why later in the video but pretty stoked good backup shot we kind of pull horse this guy to the surface now and that's the whole advantage of getting those backup shots yeah i'm not gonna lie i was contemplating shooting that other one 
Oh, I was thinking about it. So revisiting on how, why we get those backup shots, and mainly it's because these fish are so strong, and you don't want them to hang out down deep because the sharks will come in, or with just one shaft, they could easily rip out. I got him. I got him too. All right, what we got? What we got? Woo! Big old AJ. Gonna make some epic fish dip. Took a dive, was just looking for the spot. The water's so murky, and I freaking came face to face with this beast. I waited it out, grunted a little bit, and slowly swam towards him until I got the shot. Jack put an epic backup shot, and we are ready for some smoked fish dinner! Yo, chuck him in, baby! Let's go! I don't know if he'll fit. Oh, oh, oh shit! Uh oh, we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> oh, other side, other, other side. side, other side, other side. Here, head first, oh. head right here, and then the tail out that way. Right. That should be good. There we go. It's like, like deja vu last time we went Jumbo. out. Dude, if you haven't seen that video where we land a mongo, I. Tell me in the comments if you think this one is bigger than the last one Nick and I landed on the ski. We're gonna weigh it, we're gonna weigh it. We'll let you guys know, but who do you think? What do you guys think? You guys, look at these shenanigans we're getting into. Got a mutton, permit, and then this whole side is filled up with an amberjack. We are absolutely running out of room, so this is our last drift. Hope we get another variety, but we are loaded down, baby. I am stoked to see what this fish bag is gonna look like look at the at end the of the sun. day. Look yeah. at the sun! The sun's Dude, gone. The sun, the, no sun, sun. the sun is setting right now, and yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get yeah, we gotta get it. So here we go. Same tactic, same exact thing, but the visibility has gone to absolute crap, and. The drift before this one, I saw a couple bull sharks buzzing me whenever I went down to the bottom, so it's not the best diving conditions. One, because of the low light, and two, because later in the night, that's when sharks come out. And you can see my GoPro. My GoPro actually lights up the view. Uh, it was a lot darker than this. Um, but you can see me make the drop, and you'll see I spot something right at the flashers. Those things, same thing, doing exactly what they should. Uh, right about there. Right there, I spot some African pompano at the bottom of the flashers. And those things work so great. They're Mercru flashers. Uh, you can pick them up at local dive shops, Florida free divers. Um, but I just start grunting and I don't chase the fish. With these African pompanoes, you cannot chase them. I start swimming kind of in the same direction and one veered away and gave me a perfect shot. I was going for the stone shot and I wasn't too sure if it was a little too high. I know he obviously wasn't stone, uh, so I didn't want to put a ton of pressure on him. Uh, but if he ran, I gave him some line. Uh, Nick was in hot pursuit, so I kind of started putting the brakes on him just enough to where he's in range of Nick, and Nick goes ahead and takes the shot. Now, we talk about this at the surface, um, but we're pretty stoked. I'm going to go ahead and let this clip pan out. Um, and, I mean, what a freaking day. And stay tuned, guys. You are not going to want to miss this catch and cook. We compare all the jack species, and we do a blind test to find out which one is best. AJ, AP, Yellow Jack, or Permit. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be epic. And uh, continue watching to see us land this fish and also for this epic cook up afterwards. Yes, dude! Yes! Yes! Woo! Hell yeah! So sick. Woo! Dude, I gotta tell you, hey, so when, when I was, yeah, whenever I made a drop, they were they were kind of like on the out, and I just sat there grunting and just kind of swimming like away, but like kind of with them. And this guy just literally came right into me. My gun was tucked. Once he came close enough, I just reached it out. I tried to go for the stone shot, but it was Dude, risky. Right on the like, I, don't I know. I, I was like, how did that not? And then I re I thought it was too high. And I was like, shoot. So I was like, put a second shot just in case. I didn't even know if you were telling me second shot or that it's good, but I was like, I'm going to shoot it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. I took a long ass second shot because it looked like you were about to rip, but I was wrong. Woo! Yes! Sick. Woo!
Yes. Oh my God, that is what I'm talking about. Bro, fish. Fish. Oh no, dude. <laughs> We are so stoked. We got to send it in because it is getting dark. There's no lights on this thing. And we got to figure out what to do with all these fish. Fish bag time. We over here at Mr. Nicholas Bailey's crib. He's already filleting. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah, we That's don't play around. We do not play around. That's the perm. And we're going to be getting into the AP and all the other good stuff in just a second here. All right, we got the prize fish out. AP. Dude. He smoked them. What's Jack your guess? Smoked them. What's your guess? What's your guess on weight? Oh, man, I I have a feeling it's gonna be in between 17 and 20. Jack, what did you say? 18? I said 18. He said 18. I, I think that's a very accurate. I think it's guess, a healthy dude. guess. It's a I very think, health, uh, healthy guess. We're gonna put them on the scale. Oh, oh, 20. I was over. Look at that. Look at that. 20. Over 20 pounds. I, I I said 20 initially, but then I just didn't want to over overdo it, and I was like, <laughs> ah, 18. I'm guessing 44, man. Where do you usually stick this guy? In th in right in there. there go. <sighs> He's got a cube of ice in his mouth, so I guess that's gonna be added to his that's weight. Good. I don't really care. He lost some blood, whatever. All right. Okay, it's a zero, zero. Zero. I guess 44. AJ time. <clears throat> what do we got? Ooh, that's a good guess. I didn't guess. Oh, I, I would have I would have guessed like 40. 42, he was 44. Or, I mean, I mean, I guess 44, he's 42. Pretty yeah, good. That was pretty good. Yo! Dang. All right, so that's what a 40 pound AJ looks like. He was bigger than the last one. That's the right. last one was 37 pounds. Like was that. he? Yeah. Was he really? He was 37. This one's bigger. Dude, that thing's bigger than the last Look one. Look at that. All right, if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. It was Nick's first time out on the ski. And uh, yeah, we slayed a big AJ, but not as big as this one. <laughs> yeah, but it was sick. Um, and, uh, yeah, we got to get into filleting, filleting these things, and then we're gonna do an epic cookout. Nick's gonna do something special for us. I don't, I'm, I, I, I don't know yet, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe the title will ruin it for you. Some flour, a little Old Bay. Some Old Bailey. Mm. Old Bay, please sponsor me. I eat, I eat, I eat Old Bay on more than I can count. I think I've eaten Old Bay on pretty much everything I've ever eaten in my life. Believe it or not, pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay. All right, so we're gonna give a taste test between all the different Jack varieties. So we got Permit, African Pompano, and AJ. And honestly, the AJ is looking, not gonna lie, like the best looking cuts. That's the best AJ I've ever seen right now. Also, so. comment below if you think Permit is a Jack or not. I don't think Permit's a Jack, but he thinks it is. I think it's related to a Jack, but I don't that's think that's what I think. I think uh, like in the okay. Jack okay. family s. Okay. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, so they're very they're similar. So either way, we're going to have a Jack fest and we're going to try to cook. <laughs> we're going to try to cook and see what tastes the best and we're going to try to keep them separate too so we get a even Playing so field. African Pompano is a jack? I think so. All right, we're fact checking. We're all fact checking here. Wait, read, read that out loud. Pompano, Permit, Amber Jack, Jack Cravel, and Yellow Jack are all in the jack family. So it is official. We are gonna have a jack off. <laughs> the only thing we're missing is the Jack Cravel and we already know that that thing would lose. <laughs> Unless Nick makes jerky out of it. Bro, listen, you don't know me like that. Yeah, hey, comment below if you want to see a uh, Jack Cravel jerky. That doesn't video. actually taste that, like crap because it, it is good. Yeah, uh, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> that's what I hear. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious to try that out. Comment below if you want to see that video. And also follow Nick Bailey Spearfishing if you want to see that video. Yeah. And shout out to him. Uh, oh, we got Nick Bailey. A little bit of a mess. Beer batter. Added fish. the beer batter to it. Uh. Will we even be able to taste the difference? Is what all of you guys are going to comment. It's fried. You can fry a piece of cardboard. Okay, yeah, true. But is it going to be delicious? Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. At least we know everything is going to taste good. But how good? We got Permit, Yellow Jack, African Pompano, and Nick just threw in the AJ. And we're going to have a blind taste test. We're going to have a, what is it, constant? I don't know. We're going to have a variable. I forget. I don't know. It's been a long time since I did a science fair project. 
but we, we're gonna have Nick's mom taste one of each and just rate them from one to four. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll tell you guys what she chooses. All right, we, we got have it. every different type of fish. I am the only one who knows what types of fish these are. This is true. So I honestly, Ooh, it's a double blind. True. I do not. So this is this not. is pretty funny. Um, is I put one, two, three, four, all the different kinds of fish. I put Matt and Angie, my parents, um, and they're gonna rate them um, best to worst. So let's say it's like two, four, five, three. That that would mean that this one was the best one, then this one. Okay. All right, well, there's no five, whatever. Anyways, yeah. you know what I mean. I'm thing. not even gonna, I'm not even gonna dip it. I'm gonna get the full flavor. Yeah, smart. Mom, you gotta get one too. Come on. Oh, I have to eat all of this? Oh, no, just, just eat one take a bite, take a bite. Okay. Can I talk about it? No. No, you just, you just rate them. All right, I wanna see some consistency. And you already wrote down four, three, one, two. Mm -hmm. Wait on that. <sighs> Should I go too, since I haven't? Yeah, I think you should. Okay. I mean, if there's any left of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, no, there is. I, this is the four. These okay. are the, the yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to taste I like them. one. All right. Yeah, you got to reveal the fish. Okay, so, wait, wait, so, wait. so we we have our orders in. Two. <laughs> uh, one. Uh, this is Matt's. One, four, three, three two. two. Okay. All right. So, so, all right. So what? Nick, Nick he said it's pretty funny because we have no idea what's going on. All right. So. What's you guys' guess is on number one? I oh, I have no it. idea. They all taste. I have no idea. I think one was AJ. One was AJ. Okay. Oh. It, the, the meat was like a little like. It's very dense. It was, very it dense. was dense. Yeah. Um, what you guys that know? was Matt's favorite. Yeah. One was. Matt's favorite was AJ. Yeah, that was your favorite out of all. Okay, what do you guys think number two was? Um, After the bottom. Two at AP. Was it? It was AP. Yeah, it was my, it was, AP was my second to last. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did you guys think number three was? Yellow Jack or Pearl? I'm going to say that was Yellow Jack. Number three was my favorite, Yellow Jack. It was maybe Yellow four, Jack? Wait, maybe four was Yellow Jack and three was Permit. What do you guys think? I think, I think there was per, uh, Yellow Jack. It was. Well, it yeah. Was, ah. the last one was Permit. So, seems so like. So, Permit and Yellow Jack were pretty tough. <sighs> I like right. Amber Jack. And, and. and so you like the natural. I like it. Okay, I gotta say, AP was honestly at the bottom of the scale. Yeah, it was. Jason, you were right. Oh my oh. god. Oh! I took a bite of the... Too. It wasn't it bad, was, though. It's very, very, it's hard. very flaky. I bet it's a lot better not fried. I yeah, I, I agree. I've never had it fried. I've usually blackened it. But... And it's really good that way. Now I want to think of some of this fish. Oh, yeah, oh, well, yeah. So we're digging into this. Permit was wow. a huge hit. Permit was a very big hit. Four? It was it was in top two for everybody. It was top on your mom's. It was mm. the number one on my mom's. Mm. So permit it was the, ranked the highest. Yellow Jack ranked second highest. Because of that one that Matt threw in there. Yeah. AJ ranks third and last Matt is AP. They're all good though. Like it was, that was like comparing like, yeah. I mean, it was. I mean, they were very fresh. They were very fresh, very good. Um, it was yeah. being very picky. I would eat any of those. I would too. It like was it was more about texture like, for me. Wait, yeah. 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 So good. I'm on. Yeah. I'm on AP. I'm very good at AJ. I'm, I'm trying them all. Oh yeah. Oh, Nick's trying. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Nick, Nick's gonna give his. Nah. He knows though. So. I know. That was cool. Hold up. That was cool, getting an unbiased opinion, like Nick honest. Yeah. Oh. But it was hard, man. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really surprised by the AJ right now. It's, it's the best AJ I've ever had, um, for sure. I gotta say, Permit wasn't as good as I was expecting. It was really good. I actually know it was really good. Um, I think Yellow Jack wins. Yellow Jack in my-, in my Yellow Jack was- Yellow Jack, young. Permit. AJ, AP. AP's, yeah. but they're all so good. Yeah. This is like ranking like. I think, I think AP's ahead of AJ, in my opinion. Maybe I have a ranking but, but, I don't know. Let me, that's AJ, Maybe. that's Amberjack. What? Yeah, it's super dense though. 
See, I'm not a, 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 that's what got me a little bit. So that was pretty sick seeing that taste test. If you have not seen me during my Bahamas diving, where I do shoot some other APs, but on pole spear, go ahead and click up in the corner. That's an epic one. Uh, I love doing the Bahamas stuff, but this trip was just local and Nick and I absolutely crushed it. So if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next week for another adventure. Later.